Hey guys, Frankomatic here with uh Sess. Yeah, that person. And we've only got a few characters left here. These three. Cube. Cube. No. <laughs> Anyways, next time, this time, last time, sometime, now. Stone Age. That wasn't now. Now is the Stone Age. Didn't you play Mass Effect 3? No. Alright. Oh, I did. <laughs> And we're all dead because of me. Shock. And there we are. That is humanity. All of it. Little hairballs. Angry hairballs. Incidentally, language hasn't been invented yet, so, uh. <laughs> Everybody speaks by shooting pictures out of their mouths. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> sure you do. See? Look, it's a rope snake. With a human head. Oh, wait, sorry. It was a tied-up girl. <laughs> Why were they tying up a girl? That's what you do. Haven't you played video games before? <laughs> yes. I think back to Dragon Quest One. A chunk of the plot that you could totally ignore was the king's daughter has been stolen. <laughs> she wasn't tied up. She was just hanging out in a cave with the dragon. <laughs> Maybe the dragon had tied her up, but you couldn't see it because they couldn't render it in an NES game. And that's why you had to carry her. No. You couldn't see it because the cave was dark. <laughs> Look, the Flintstones cars. I love that these things apparently exist. <laughs> and they sound terrible. Yeah. They left their buddy behind. <laughs> their buddy is totally useless. <laughs> well, they are cavemen. So you're saying cavemen are useless? It's the entire crux of those Geico commercials. <laughs> Those are so, like, three years ago. Weren't they gonna, like, make a TV show out of that caveman or something and I didn't do it because I realized that was a stupid idea? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and this is happening. I don't understand. Don't chase mammoths. <laughs> <laughs> so when there's one mammoth, there's approximately 30. And they all run in a line. Oh, Baby mammoth. <laughs> Incidentally, none of that happened. Because... Where our name is Pogo. That is why none of it happened. Oh wait, sorry, it was all a dream. So, this is the one caveman with green hair? Yes. Literally. Wow. And this is our buddy, Gory. He's asleep. How do you know his name is Gory? Because I've played this before. He's a monkey. You, like, whacked him. Let's see. Gory. Well, <laughs> he's really ugly. We got a big stick. Hooray. Hey. Out of the way. Thank you. Oh no. Fire hot. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah, he deserved that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. This chapter of the game has a crafting system. And crafting is pretty much the only way to get any sort of equipment that's not shit. Where'd that guy run around? And all this crap we're picking up is crafting stuff. But there's a way to do this a little more efficiently. Back here. One, two... Oh dear. You are so efficient. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten... Eleven, twelve... 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You can count. Now we have to wait for a guy to stop coming in the room. It's a little hard to tell as they're all running around by the door, but I think they stopped. 20. And you talk to the 20th caveman. And he gives you, uh, one of every type of crafting thing. Isn't that great? I guess. And then you talk to him again and they all go away. Bye bye. And you can keep doing that as many times as you want to get a bunch of useful shit, but we're not gonna do that right now. <laughs> and out here is a room of cavemen I'm going to ignore for the moment. Because screw those guys. This guy is the crafter. You give him two items. And he makes them into something else. Oh boy, a stone knife. And now that I've shown you how to do it, here's a save that I made earlier where I've already made a bunch of stuff. And let's put this back to the normal spot. We are now equipped with a ton of nice stuff. And Gory can't really equip much of anything, but he's equipped as best he possibly can. <laughs> now let's go back to exploring our stupid caveman society. Oh dear. What just happened? He farted on us. Ew. His fart was so bad it turned the whole world yellow. Can't talk to that guy, apparently. Stop kicking him! <laughs> that guy is apparently asleep. What? That dude is injured. <laughs> you caught him. It's the fart guy again. <laughs> that guy falls down. You know what? Let's not talk to these guys. <laughs> Look, it's an old man. Deer plus hammer equal meat. Well, that is how it works. <laughs> Don't go into his room. I'm gonna send your tiger map, though. Walk all over it. Anyways, that guy that was blocking the passage here is out of the way now, but let's not go there yet. It's Me. a storeroom. Let's take it. We can't take it. Can take a little meat? No. Can we take the hay? Yay. We can shake the hay. Anyways, let's, uh... Let's go this way. Hey, buddy. No. Damn. <laughs> These guys are not messing around. You go where you're told by the old man. And this is showing us the mechanic for how to do things. How to smell. And this is actually your way of finding out where random encounters are hiding at. Because they're not random in this, so much as they're like invisible NPCs that you can spot by sniffing. They move around the map, and there's actually only a certain amount of them per area. Forever? No, if you leave and come back, they respawn. But you can clear an area out by not leaving. Damn, this old man, seriously. And he's not going to let us leave until we get some meat. How about pressing the Y button? We can smell. See, that's where the old man is. This is a deer. Except it's actually puppies. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> bash bash. This is terrible. You're murdering puppies. Yes I am! Murdering puppies for meat. 
Who do you think you are, Korean? Great, now we're gonna get put now our fun name's gonna get pulled from Korea. We got a meaty bone. Which means we can leave, but what the hell, let's commit some more animal genocide. Wait, so he didn't actually want meat, he wanted a bone. It was a meaty bone. Hey look, it's an actual deer kind of thing. Incidentally, the equipment I made is very overpowered for the first area here. <laughs> they didn't really expect you to, uh, break the system. <laughs> if they didn't expect you to do it, why would they set it up so that you could? Pretty much every RPG that has a crafting system ends up doing that to itself. I don't know why. Puppy. Must kill. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> Any more puppies to murder? I think I might have murdered everything. What about up there? Oh. Oh, wait. No, can't get down there. Oh, here. Nope, yep, looks like I murdered everything for the time being. And just reaffirmation of push Y to find stuff. And now we can come back out here anytime we want to level grind a bit. Not going to right now. Ray the Y stone. And everybody's gone. Old man's all about the Y stone. <laughs> he also sounds like a dinosaur when you piss him off. Because he is a dinosaur. Ah, uh, that's <laughs> an old joke. I just want sniff in here. I just want to put my meat down. Well, I guess I earned it, so it's my meat. What the hell's everybody else? Oh, they're all asleep. Sleeping. How come only the old man smells? It's the only smell Pogo recognizes. Old man stink. I don't like this guy. Old man stink. Because that guy who disappeared, he actually disappeared. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, time for bed. <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> Your monkey's gone. Stupid monkey. <laughs> Maybe they decided to turn him into meat. Why? Why is he still that way? <laughs> oh, I know what we can do now. Can you steal his whatever? No. You can can't you talk steal to him? Meat. <laughs> I just stole from a clan elder. Bravo, sir. You will be the next elder. That's how it works. Why is your monkey sleeping in here? <laughs> Didn't you just eat that? No. It was like a bone when we got there.
Why were you scared? Scared of the moving haystack. She tricked you good. Where did she go? She's in that stack you can't reach. Hmm. Well, time to go back to bed. <laughs> it's not the correct course of action, but uh <laughs> <Let's> see. <laughs> Game. Let me ah, no. Okay. <laughs> Let me progress. No progress for you. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, wow. The monkey is even more harsh than the elder. Let's give her a bone. <laughs> give her a stick. That'll just have the same thing happen. Where... That's a meaty bone. What the hell are they? <laughs> oh, they took them from me. Congratulations, you made friends with the haystack. <laughs> and then the monkey freaked out at her. She can take care of herself. <laughs> I made her a bunch of stuff too. Her nose must be the scariest looking thing in the world. <laughs> Crammed full of stuff. <laughs> Just walk in this goofy formation. Let's go take her to the elder. And now you are a triangle. Why is he so angry? Boop boop. <laughs> well, that's clearly not going to be a good idea, so let's, uh, let's hide her. But he only just imagined all of it. But it will happen. How do you know? When, is a, when has a vision seen by a main character in an RPG ever been wrong? At one game, Final Fantasy Seven. Let's go, Clouds and Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission less accomplished. How did I move one step away? 
The floor is so much more comfortable here. Mission accomplished. Again. <laughs> I think you're doing it wrong. Well, the answer is simple. No one will suspect a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. It's just me and my pet monkey and my pet haystack. No one will suspect a thing. Quit sleeping in front of our door, you jackass. <laughs> Look over there. Look over there. Wow. He was the most stupid of cavemen. Now for bed. <laughs> no bed for the lady. <laughs> or... <laughs> oh dear. Moves fast, doesn't he? <laughs> but she's okay with it. Okay, man. <laughs> but, of course... He wakes up with a monkey. Shenanigans. <laughs> Awakened by true love's kiss. Anyways, I think we should take a break here. One moment.